Hey baby babes and welcome back to my channel. I am Maria aka Agape Love Girl. Thank you so much for joining me today. So today I have a review for you guys. A very interesting review um, on the book The Skin Regime. Um, this is Boot Camp for Beautiful Skin by Dana Ramos. And I did receive this for free to review via Thomason, um, which is a review website and such. Um, but anyways, uh, this is, uh, it came with the book, um, all about, well, basically, boot camp for your skin. Um, and it talks about how simple and easy it is to, um, maintain your skincare. It really simplifies, um, a skincare routine that is easy and affordable for all. And, um, also, the biggest thing it is about is it doing chemical peels. Now, it did come with this sample size of the one for all peel by the skin regime. And, um, I have only used it twice, so I still have probably two or three more uses out of this, and, be and I uh, need to keep doing this system to completely update you. I'll give you guys that disclaimer real quick um, about how I feel about it, but I do have enough information about it to let you know a little bit how I feel, but to see the full results, I will be checking back in in another couple of weeks with you guys, so um, there's that to look forward to, but I wanted to get this review up because I will also have a giveaway for this same book and then the sample of the uh, one for all peel. Now um, this book is a pretty quick and easy read. I probably could have read it in one day in like a few hours but you know as a mom with kids and distractions it did take me a couple days to kind of get through it but it is a super easy um, read. Um, it, Dana has a, a, a great sense of humor. Um, there's a lot of things in here that um, she just says with so much humor, and I absolutely love that. And really what this book is, is she kind of like, uh, <laughs> not, I wouldn't say attacks or anything, but kind of debunks a lot of the myths there are about skincare and about the products there are out there um, for skincare and certain things. L you know, like basically saying there really is no solution for cellulite or dark circles. So anything that says that it's going to cure those things is really not true. And I have found that to be true, at least with dark circles. Um, cause you know, I'm always on the lookout for something to help my dark circles and I've tried a, a few products that I've have done reviews on the blog that say they help dark circles or diminish dark circles. And although, um, um, my reviews of at least one of them was kind of really not good at all and another one I still liked the product. It didn't really help my dark circles, but it helped with puffiness and other things with the eyes, which, um, I mentioned on that review. But, um, there's just different things in this book that she talks about. Um, another thing is that, uh, a big thing with this is that, uh, skincare doesn't have to be expensive. And that's something that I thought was really neat in this book. She really kind of talks about how, um, you don't need to buy uh, all the really expensive brands um, to get what you need to take care of your skin. And a lot of the stuff you can buy at your local drugstore, Walmart, whatever. Um, and uh, for a chemical peel, she has the one for all one available on her site, but she also says that you could even make your own chemical peel, I believe if I'm remembering correctly. Um, but she has all the ingredients right there on the site and it's all very affordable. Um, also, she was talking about how if you go to like a dermatologist's office or a certain places, um, a spa to get a chemical peel, they could be upwards to a couple hundred dollars as, um, whereas if you, with this, you know, you could do it at home for as, as little as five dollars per peel. So, um, it just was really interesting, but let me, um, show you, this is a picture of her and I'll, you know, zoom you guys in here. So this is a picture of her on the back. She says she is 52 years old. This photo is not edited and she's not wearing any makeup. Um, her skin absolutely looks fabulous. I'm not sure how much you can tell from here on the, you know, the picture of a picture on the, in the camera here. Um, but she's 52 years old and I think from what I can tell her skin looks fabulous. And I just was really impressed. I thought that this was a really cool book to read. Um, what I liked is that um, a lot of the stuff she, she suggests using are, is stuff that I actually already have in my own home. Things like um, the Dove Beauty Bar, which I've always used and loved in, uh, in one of my very first uh, like 
makeup favorites that I've done on my blog, the Dove Beauty Bar was what my go-to, you know, face wash before I really got into um, other systems that I absolutely loved. And even though in this book she kind of says you don't really need the expensive skincare and that it doesn't really work and explains why, um, I can partially agree with that and partially disagree because there are some things that I've used, especially Trace Skin RX, that is expensive. I don't like that it's expensive, but that really has worked to help my skin and um but what I do agree with is that it it does not take a lot of money to have good skin and have a good skincare system. So that's what I really loved about it. Um, another thing was um, benzoyl, pro benzoyl peroxide um, is something that I've um, used for... Um, helping take care of acne and stuff like that and um, just different things that you already have at home um, and that are really if you don't really inexpensive to buy at the local drugstore so that you don't need a lot to spend a lot of money um, uh, to, on you know costly skincare items and then or go to get um, costly uh, chemical peels you know at a spa or a dermatologist or whatever um, to you know you could do it from home at a fraction of the cost and so I just thought that was so neat but she basically goes through you know why and and how and just really goes through it. the only thing I could say that I thought was a little bit like a lot of the stuff she kept it felt like it was very repetitive I could understand why she would want to do that because so many people might have questions and and she wants to really like reiterate what she's saying about certain things um, but I felt like a lot of it especially in the beginning I was like okay we already we already read this we already read this but um, I still found it very informative I just loved the book really um let me see i did mark a few things that i that were stand out to me um okay here's something that i thought was really stand out to me she said the reason these companies or certain companies she's talking about companies who who won't do or sell what she's trying to sell or you do it says um they don't make their products with effective strength is because they're going after as many customers as possible they don't want to deal with complaints and product returns from mild side effects that are normal when you begin using the product, such as some irritation and possible uh, temporary increase in breakouts. So I thought that was really interesting, and I know that is true also just because um, sometimes when products are working, your skin tends to get worse before it gets better, and I already knew that um, beforehand. It's just that, you know, when your skin is kind of getting rid of impurities, it will come out or even for just different products, I've just known this, um, you know, it comes out and it sometimes gets worse before it gets better and people see that and um, it's happening to them and think they're having a bad reaction to the product and then they will either return it or never purchase again um, because they, the companies won't invest in the time to say, hey, this is why it's happening or people might not believe them. But she kind of basically goes and, and explains that kind of stuff, which I thought was really cool um, for people who don't know that. Another thing, just some of the humor, uh, <laughs> about you know or you know when people ask are chemicals or this this uh, chemical or acid peel or whatever is good for your skin and she says she makes a joke you know you're probably poisoning yourself a hundred times worse by eating a bag of cheesy chips than you would with months of uh, worth of facial products listed in this book so it just she's got some some funny humor in that I really enjoyed um, something to note though this is going to um, it, it will help your skin it will help um, and you could go to the site, theskinregime.com, and see before and after pictures and see lots of information. Um, and it's going to help improve dark spots, you know, on your skin, acne scars, um, wrinkles. It will really give you youthful looking skin, brand new like skin. But she says right here, um, the bottom line is the skin regime will help improve your skin tremendously, but it's too mild to remove severe, and that's underlined here, um, scars or wrinkles. Uh, the skin regime is not a facelift, duh, and she puts it in there, it just, she's hilarious. Um, it won't lift sagging skin, no cream on earth can do that, only surgery. The skin regime cannot fill out deep lines like injectable fillers can. But the products noted in the skin regime can improve the tone and look of your skin significantly and many fine lines should disappear. Um, the typical follower of the skin regime will diminish uh, discoloration, dullness, uh, large pores, age spots, and sunspots. So that's just a little bit about the book that I thought was really neat. Um, she actually, in the back of the book, there's also like makeup tips, hair tips, body tips, um, which I think can be very helpful to a lot of people. To, um, but 
I keep in mind that a lot of them are um, more like personal preference and taste to her taste. There are some things in there that I was like I didn't quite agree with um, concerning makeup, but that is because she's going after more of a variety um, um, or audience. So this is stuff that could work for anybody and a more natural looking um, makeup and stuff like that. Whereas me, I'm a little bit more wild as you know today I'm pretty simple um, but again they're just opinions and then helpful tips and stuff of hers um, still I like that and I think it's a great idea that she included those things because they are going to be helpful to a lot of people who might not know as much about makeup and beauty as someone like me or be outgoing and um, willing to try more outrageous looks and stuff like that like someone like me again okay so um, that aside about the about the book, um, let's get on to the actual skin regime boot camp. So she tells you all the things you'll need, and so a lot of the stuff I did have on hand, and then a couple things I did have to purchase from um, Walmart, and. Um, to do the boot camp alongside with the chemical peel and like I mentioned before I did the chemical peel um, twice and I'm still going to do it you only do the peel once a week and I did it on a Sunday evening um, she recommends starting out with just one the thing about this I guess peel is that it is layerable unlike any other chemical peel there is so if you go over a spot with the chemical peel once that's like one layer and you go over the spot again that's two layers she recommends doing one layer when you first try it for the very first time and um, and she, well she also recommends reading the whole book before you do this so I did that um, and so the very first time I used this I only did one layer and I didn't do any more that night I totally feel like I could have done a couple more layers that first night but to be safe I only did one because I've never done a, a chemical peel before um, but my skin is not sensitive at all it's pretty tough and um, but anyway so I think I could have but I didn't just to be safe um, I did notice a little bit of tingling a little bit of heat nothing crazy I did take some pictures along the way though there's nothing really too noticeable I'll probably import them or put them in this video um, and then also on my blog um, for you guys to see um, but there it wasn't anything too noticeable that first night and the next day um, really I just didn't notice that much of a difference from the first peel so then my next peel which which I actually did uh, yesterday uh, I went ahead and did two layers um, again just playing it on the safe side it probably could have gone up to the three or four maybe layers of this um, but I did two and um, that time last uh, yesterday I did notice that um, the tingling kind of heat sensation was a little bit more intense. Nothing that I couldn't handle. I mean, I actually really like the, I enjoy the feeling of that. Um, I have said that before in different videos on skincare. I like the feeling of something kind of, you know, you feel it working. Um, but if you have sensitive skin, you you know, it might be um, something that you won't, you only want to do one layer or whatever. But you, you know, if you get this and read the book, then you'll know more about it. Um, but I did two layers, and with that, uh, I the next day, um, well, actually, let me just say, after I washed it off and stuff like that, that night, my skin felt so smooth and so good, and even my husband, you know, I asked him if my skin felt softer, it was just my imagination. It just really feels, and still feels, like baby smooth, like I love it. Um, the next day after doing the peel yesterday, so... No, I did the peel, what's the day? Tuesday, I did the peel Sunday night, so there's been a day in between, yes. Yeah, so the next day, Monday, after doing the peel, um, I did notice some a little bit of peeling on my skin, which is normal. She says sometimes you might have peeling and redness, sometimes you might not. So um, so after the second time of doing this, I realized that I, um, the next day that I did have a little bit of peeling, not all over my entire face, but I had it mostly right here on my chin, and then right here kind of around my nose here. Um, and that was really it. But still, aside from that, like my face still feels smooth. It feels amazing. I again, I said I took some, I took pictures, um, and I'm not seeing a really dramatic difference yet in in the way my skin looks quite yet. But again, I still have. She recommends doing this with the peel, doing a chemical peel, um, anywhere from six to eight times. So that'll be like a six to eight week uh, span of time frame, and then there is a maintenance. Um, routine which is basically the same thing as the boot camp except for without the peel um so i'm actually really excited for how this is going to turn out i i think that it is a great like i love it i think it's just amazing already i'm really impressed with how my skin feels 
and um, I'm excited to see how it's going to look in the next coming weeks and to update you guys. Um, the only thing else is that, you know, she obviously talks about with skincare, you want to protect your skin, obviously sunscreen, not being out in the sun. And I've mentioned in previous videos, even recent videos, that I've been trying to do a lot better with um, skin, you know, not being out in the sun, not sunbathing. It's something I love, but she's like, that's a big, big no-no, especially when you do this, because basically what you're doing is you're sloughing off all the layers of, of your old dead skin that just is dull and, and yucky, and you're basically getting this new baby skin again. And um, you don't want to go out and put, you know, that your new baby skin in, you know, in the sun without protection and stuff like that. So I've been trying to be really good about that and um, going to continue that because obviously that is a big factor in age and stuff like that. So anyways, all that to say was I really enjoy this. I'm looking forward to the final results. And... Um, I just think this is a fabulous system for anybody who is really on a budget, someone who really uh, like has issues with discoloration, dull skin, some wrinkles, and some acne scars. Again, she says not severe, um, but this is, can really help anyone's skin pretty much tremendously. And so I'm just really excited uh, about learning about this skincare and how simple and affordable that it is. So I... Um, I really like it and I, again I can't say enough that I just am excited to see the final results and to share with you and I will be doing an update YouTube video on this and the results to show you guys. Um, but until then you could also visit the, the site theskinregime.com and I will link it in the description box below for you guys to check out because on there she does have before and after pictures and there is one I think I'm going to go ahead and just kind of steal it from the site and put it in this video to show you. So I just was really impressed, especially by that photo. <laughs> so I'm excited to see how this is going to turn on me. Um, so yeah, that's about all I have to say for the review. Now for the giveaway, I will be doing a giveaway for the book and the sample size like this, which um, says is, uh, you could use it for up to four times, but I think I could probably use it a little bit more than that. Um, so the, if you would like to try this re skin regime, um, try the boot camp, read the book, and have a sample of the peel, then you can head over to my blog, I got by lovedesigns.com, and I'll have that linked in the description box as well and enter via the raffle copter widget there. It should be some very simple entries. And um, yeah, that is all. So I wish you guys good luck. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them. Um, leave a comment or visit the site because um, she does have a very informative site, before and after pictures, a lot of information, and even some of her own YouTube videos on there um, with more in detail explanations and stuff like that for you guys to see. So anyways, that is all for this review. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and be sure to enter the giveaway. Good luck. Until next time, I'll talk to you later.